The applique tool allows you to quickly and easily create machine embroidered applique while all the elements will be created automatically for you. You can select from placement and cutting lines, a zigzag tack down line, and satin or blanket cover stitching. I'm going to get started on a base design, so bring your artwork in, select the tool, and use a series of right and left clicks to define your shape, working over your background. I'm going to quickly go around my shape using right clicks for curves. When I get to the end, enter on the keyboard to close the shape and enter again to see the shape created. If you need to make changes, use the reshape object icon to make changes and with your design selected, open up object properties. Here I can make all my changes to the applique. I can select different applique fabrics and I can do that for each one of the elements of my design and so I've applied fabric to the leaf and the apple. I can change the stitch from a satin to a blanket stitch and I can change the size of the blanket stitch and the spacing. I can also choose to have a placement line, cutting line, and I can move that offset. If I'm using my scissors to trim this design by hand, I'm going to leave a little bit of fabric around the outside. By placing my offset here in the center, I can get about a one and a half or two millimeter gap to accommodate that excess fabric left to the outside. I can select the different elements select whether or not I'm going to need a cutting line, whether I need to have a tack down, and again I can make changes. I can use a satin stitch. Maybe I want to have a nice wide spacing here, of say 1.5 millimeters, and have a zigzag stitch as well as a blanket stitch. Quick and easy to use the applique tool inside of Software 7.